It is my desire, almost an obsession. I would have loved to be buried in the sands of the beach of Malaga. Beside the foaming sea, you must bury me. There was a time when non-Roman Catholics were buried in a shameful manner. It was not allowed to bury the deceased. During the daylight hours, it had to be done at night, by torchlight. That was before the creation of the English cemetery at the ravine of the British. In the Nordic countries where deep and dark lakes abound, many a melancholic soul were drawn to their shores, and some disappeared in their fascinating watery depths. I felt a similar strange force at the Protestant cemetery at Malaga, leading me to understand why a lunatic Englishman took his life so as to be buried there. I am eternally grateful that I was not of that persuasion, but full of desire to see more of this blessed world. As I walked through it, I felt as if I were in paradise, through the most marvelous of gardens. The hedges were of flowering myrtle, enough to make a thousand bridal grounds. Great clumps of geraniums grew high over the gravestones, bearing the inscriptions carved in Danish, my mother tongue. Once long ago, a Spanish soldier lifted me high in the air and pressed a medal to my lips. I was three. It was then I knew that I wanted to know Spain. I was fascinated by the Arabic legends, the romance and heroic spirit of the knights. That fascination, that driving force, drew me to Malaga in 1862 and to the English cemetery. The grounds were enclosed by cacti and prickly pear, over which and out I could contemplate the endless and undulating sea. The sea. Now, close your eyes. The sea of my tale, deep, deep and beyond. Deep, deep and beyond, the waters are blue, the color of cornflowers, and as clear as the most transparent crystal. However, so deep that no anchor could ever touch the ocean's floor. It would be necessary to place bell tower upon bell tower to ever reach the surface. And those depths leave the dwellers of the sea. The monarch of the seas had been a widower for many years. He had six daughters. The youngest was the fairest of them all, with skin as pale and soft as any rose petal. Imagine the most beautiful being born and inhabiting the sea but willing to sacrifice her aquatic nature for love. Who doesn't search for love, even when it's a chimera? Should I take the plunge? She rescued her handsome prince from certain death, and she could not forget him, nor bear to be separated from him. She had heard of the beauties of the mainland, but to her it remained an undiscovered world. For love, she went to the sorceress of the sea and asked to become human. And in exchange, she offered her beautiful voice. For love, she became mute. She sealed, for the last time, the sand beneath her feet. She turned forever into sea spray. She didn't want to leave him, nor portray him. For love, became part of the everlasting immensity of the sea, of the vast void. All humans must eventually die. Their lifespan is briefer than ours. We can live for 300 years, but when we cease to exist, we are transformed into the ocean's form. We do not have a marked place to rest among our own. We have no immortal soul. 
At the foot of the cemetery, a path winds toward the hills. Where grow prickly pears and oleanders, all untouched and exotic, forming a desert of solitude. Upon some of the graves, passion flowers entwine. The pepper tree shading the tombs. Here we see a solitary palm tree. There a gomifera. So many journeys in search of her. And here she is, my little maiden of the sea. No, not near a fjord. No, it had to be a warmer place, in a tomb covered with seashells that once were collected as gifts for little ones. My efforts were at last repaid. It was an obsession. I would have loved to be buried in the sands of the beach of Malaga, beside the foaming sea, at the ravine of the British. Humans, as opposed to us, dwellers of the sea, have a soul that lives eternally living on when the body has turned to dust. It ascends the invisible air onto the stars. Just as we leave our watery abode in order to see the realm of human beings, they ascend to marvelous and undreamed of places we can never reach. Now, close your eyes. Deep, deep into the sea. Thank you.